there have been growing concerns regarding a new breed of young people within our shores. They can be seen wearing strange attire, brawling on street corners, and generally causing a nuisance. Until they are contained, we suggest you lock your doors and sleep with one eye open. I wish you all the very best of luck. This kind of thing has been said about every generation of young people. Isn't it time we knew the other side of the story? The one you don't see in many of the headlines or the history books. And look at the cultural heritage of British young people that doesn't just see the hair on the hippies and the piercings on the punks. A look that celebrates all the positive contributions young people have made to British society and uncovers some of those people that put themselves on the line to make a difference. The British Youth Council sent us on a journey to look at the 60 years that they have been empowering young people. Armed with just our camera and some intensive training from BYC, our team set off on a three week shoot to capture some of the stories we had uncovered. You can't change the world by just sitting behind your computer. I mean, that's that's a cold reality, but we have to do some real work as well. Young people generally aren't given an opportunity to shout about the really good things that they do. Don't get mad, get organised. At Easter 1958, in London, Trafalgar Square was full. And as part of the youth in England who are going to live in the future, I felt it was my, my responsibility to take part in any sort of demonstration which would help stop warfare, and that's why I've come here. A lot of young people march to Aldermaston. Some people call them irresponsible. But it's not irresponsible to have convictions. The young people of today think of nothing but themselves. They are impatient of all restraint. As for the girls! They are forward, immodest, and unladylike in speech, behaviour, and dress. <laughs> we have different groups in there, like homeless group or prison group. And basically what they do is like for the, in the homeless group, they go and visit homeless people. And because, you know, Sainsbury's and Tesco's, they have like um, croissants and stuff like that they don't use. So we'll go and collect it and like give it to the homeless people. And with the prison group, there's some people in prison who don't have um, family members or anything. So we will write to them, go and visit them. My message to every young person is if you want to change something, get out and do it. I, I firmly believe as a result of my experience, it is vital whether it's uh, these struggles or making poverty history or the big threat of climate change that young people make a stand and say, hang on, you've got to listen to me about this. And all different ways of getting your point across and different things work for different people. Cut a long story short, it took ten years for me to get equality. Um, basically, I'm the first woman to have equal pay for equal value in, in this country. Younger people who are doing work such as volunteering and caring and such like um, should like make their voices heard even more, but yet the media should listen to those voices as well. I think we need to work together in order to make us more recognised. You need to get the youth interested and like feel like that if they do get involved, their opinion counts. Because a lot of the people in um, politics or doing things for the environment, they feel like they're just wasting their time. I think they should be, um, you know, given more power. If there's one thing we have learned from taking this journey, from the weeks of filming, the 30 hours of tape recording, the bin bag full of donuts it took to keep us moving, and the late nights of editing to bring this film to you, it's this. We have to learn from the past and act in the present to change the future. Get out there, visit places like the BFI or the British Library or whatever is in your area, online, offline, it doesn't matter. Find out about the positive cultural heritage you have as a young person in the UK. This is your heritage, your moment, your move.